Yo, welcome back guys. I got a good video for you guys, super good video because it's a video that a lot of you have been asking a lot of questions about and I want to make this 100% clear. So this is going to be a video about state funds versus surplus funds. A lot of people have been asking. I feel like people DM me and they don't, they, they, they just uh, think it's uh, state funds is one thing and surplus funds is something else. I want to make this video to make it 100% clear so you know exactly what it is, okay? So what is so first thing i'm gonna do is explain explain what both of them are all right so what state funds and what surplus funds and i have my laptop here if you see me looking to the side it's because i got my laptop right and i wrote some notes on there so what what is state funds first things first what are state funds okay state funds is loss uh, abandoned property usually what it could be is like a stock or it could be a bank account it could be um you know, let's say uh, a paycheck that you never got from a job. Let's say you got fired and they never sent you your paycheck. That, sh that could be a state fund. Um, another thing is, you know, let's say you're owed taxes and you never got those taxes back and that th they'll go ahead and send that to the state and it's state funds, okay? So basically just lost property, property you never got that always belonged to you, okay? So the next thing is what is surplus funds, all right? So what surplus funds is, all right, so I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can. Uh, let's say that you had a mortgage. So the mortgage, you know, you're paying it off, you're doing good on it, and you had a bad couple of months. All right, so you, let's, let's say you've been paying the mortgage for like 10 years, um, you've been doing, you had a bad couple of months, and now the bank wants to foreclose on you. So when the bank goes goes ahead and forecloses on you, they're gonna go ahead and put it up for sale because you know they're trying to make they're trying to make their money back. Now, so let's say your mortgage was a hundred thousand, right? When you first got the mortgage, it was a hundred thousand. You started paying it for fifteen years, let's say. So now you're at fifty percent. So now you're at fifty thousand. What the bank's gonna do is they're gonna put it up for auction. So now when the auction happens, all right, let's say someone buys that property on an auction for seventy thousand. What happens to that twenty thousand dollar difference? Okay, there's there's a twenty thousand dollar difference right there because you, the owner, paid fifty thousand. All right, so he has fifty thousand left, but the bank sold it for seventy thousand. So there's a twenty thousand dollar difference, right? That's what you call a uh, surplus fund because those are, it's the bank only needed its fifty thousand back. All right, but he, it sold it for over. So now you get the twenty thousand dollars from the uh, surplus from the auction. Okay, so that's what the difference is. Okay, they're not the same thing. Surplus funds, state funds are not the same thing. I want to make that 100% clear um, because I feel like people think that it's the same thing and it's not. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the differences between state funds and um, surplus funds. All right, so first things first is state funds uses like notaries and the courthouse um, and uh, surplus funds uses lawyers and banks all right so which one is better all right so uh, banks are always more professional why are banks because obviously they do it for a profit banks are you know they're their corporation and corporations you know they're trying to take care of their clients so of course banks are better but when you're going through the foreclosure division of a, of a mortgage of a bank um, they're more not they're not the nicest people you know they're a little bit more you know it's because they're dealing with a different type of crowd so they're a little bit more uh, it's harder to deal with um so but banks are always more professional uh they have a fa faster response time um and courts have a longer response time so if you send a court an email they're going to go ahead and respond a while they're going to take however long they want because you're dealing with just uh, an employee at that point uh, they're a little bit less professional so that's what i found when i was doing both i did both these businesses and that's what i found doing both these businesses all right now i want to go ahead and talk about the clients so the clients of uh surplus funds and state funds the people that you deal with all right what's the difference between the people all right two different type of people guys like i, I want to make this 100 percent clear that you're dealing with two different types of crowds all right so let me let me explain what i'm talking about with surplus funds you're dealing with people that just went through a foreclosure 
that's a big deal guys that's a really big deal I, I don't think you understand how big of a deal that is um, that's not a, a good feeling to be going through you're embarrassed um, you haven't been paying your bills um, a lot of people are knocking at your door a lot of people are calling you because they want their the banks want their money um, it's just you're going through a bad time all right and if you're going through a foreclosure something something happened you got laid off someone dies it's it, some it's it's not pretty right so that you're dealing with a distressed person and these people if they went through the full foreclosure process already guess what that means that they're you know not all the time but most of the times of what i i dealt with is these people are just uh, more procrastinators they're more last minute they want to get stuff done at the end and it's like uh do you understand what I, do you understand what i'm trying to say there is it's it's, it's it's just a different type of person okay now when you're moving over to state funds um you're dealing with more normal people they're just regular everyday people they just don't know that they have funds owed to them you know some people got fired from a job never collected their money they knew that they're owed money but they thought the job kept it for some weird reason and it's not that's not the case so um it's just a regular person and that just didn't know they had funds available to them so when you're talking to them it's less of a distress and it's more of just like a regular conversation just trying to get uh, through to them and just you know let them know about the funds that they have next thing that i want to get into is the cost all right so you know for marketing both is it's pretty sim it's pretty similar um you'll be paying the same thing cold callers dialers crm skip tracing those are going to be about the same cost for both businesses the difference is with uh state funds it gets a little bit cheaper because um with the leads because now what you're going to be having to pay for is the leads surplus funds you're going to have to be paying for your leads um and it's going to cost more in state funds and um if you, you may have to pay a little bit more uh you might have to pay a subscription to get these leads and you might have to use a software to go ahead and access these leads or you can pay just for the leads um so the software can go for like a hundred dollars a month i've never done the other one where i just pay for the leads so i'm not 100 percent sure how much that costs but i'm pretty sure it's you know it's uh it's still going to be kind of expensive and uh for state funds it just depends on your state like in california you don't have to pay but in different states you might have to pay for the cd or you might have to pay for uh they might send you a like a usb drive or something like that so it just depends on what state you are but it's usually free um or if it's really cheap like uh, probably like 20 bucks or something like that just for all the leads um you get full access of all the leads all right so now we're gonna go into which one is faster to get a deal okay because I know that's important and a lot of people want to get paid faster so all right so I've done both businesses so this is just on my personal opinion uh, I feel like state funds it's way easier to get a, a deal faster I've done both um, and it's just getting the ink on paper and just sending it over it's just way quicker for uh, state funds that's what I found um, so the next thing that I'm, I want to get into is what you need to go ahead and get started all right so for um surplus funds you're gonna go ahead and be connected to an attorney um that specializes in surplus funds because that's gonna be the person you can't go in and do the the, the paperwork guys you, you know it's it's this is you're gonna have to leave it to the professionals so you're gonna have you're gonna have to get a lawyer for that and for um state funds you're gonna have to get licensed you're gonna have to get li a license to go ahead and do state funds and if you don't get licensed you're doing it illegally and you can get sued or if they find out you're not licensed they can go ahead and take away your funds so you want to make sure you get licensed okay all right so now we're going to move into payments all right so um which one is uh, faster to go ahead and get paid all right so what i found for the payments is that state funds is quicker to get paid um just because the whole process when you go ahead and just send it over to the state they'll go ahead and you know take care of it uh, what really takes so long with the state is just the people you're dealing with um other than that you know you get paid pretty fast as soon as you get a contract you send it in you just have to wait a little bit and you get paid pretty fast um but for surplus funds uh you're going through a whole process you're going through a whole you have to get uh you have to go through 
uh, banks. You're going to have to go through your lawyer. It's going to, it's back and forth. I don't know if you guys ever dealt with a lawyer, you know, they have a thousand clients. And so you trying to get in touch with your lawyers. Like you're talking to the assistant, the assistant's talking to you, telling you one thing, the lawyer's telling you another thing. So that's just what I found about uh, the payments. But also this is another key, very important. And it might change your mind about both is that state funds, you can only charge 10% in well in, in most cases it, it's like 10 15 20 percent um california is 10 percent for state funds and in surplus funds in california you can charge 20 percent but i think in surplus funds in arizona it's like three percent it's weird so it's different in, in different states but in california it's, you can charge as much as 20 percent well you can charge as much as you want in california but if you charge too much and you know you go into like a legal like they try to say that you know are trying to like take advantage of them the judge is not going to favor you when you're trying to charge 60 percent and take away all their funds you know it's not gonna they're not gonna side with you if you do something fair like 20 percent you know it's reasonable and you're gonna most likely be in the green right there but cali's 10 percent for state funds and it's 20 percent for surplus funds and different states have different rules but that's just how it i'm just gonna go for cali um i can't go through all the states obviously but for cali that's how it is so obviously <laughs> The payouts are going to be bigger for surplus um, because with state funds um, you're going more for smaller accounts so you know like paychecks pay stuff stocks and stuff like that but with uh, surplus funds you're dealing with mortgages mortgages are a big a big they're big you know like if it's going to be like a, if, if it's a hundred thousand dollar surplus like in California, because these houses are so expensive out here, then that means you, you know, if you get your 20%, you're making a nice 20,000 easily off that. But with state funds, if you're dealing with more smaller accounts, you can still find big um, accounts, um, you know, big number, like uh, big money. But it's just, you know, it's going to be more common for like the medium accounts, uh, for like the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand. Those are like, there's so much of those. Um, so yeah so which one which one is better you know in my opinion what i what what i think is better um i've done both and honestly i feel like i love state funds i think i i just love it i just feel like um uh just let me get into more of the competition wise uh i just feel like state funds is just less com guys if i show you if you i, I have a video on my channel um, where, I'm, where i show you guys and i'll i'll link it in the um description below what video it is um but of me just going over the state funds in california and there's so much it's so much uh files guys it's too much you know there's it's it's hard to have competition when there's so much yes i didn't i've had called some people and yes they have said that they work with people already but you know it's it's not too many i don't run into that problem but with surplus funds you're going to be running more into that problem where a lot of people are saying they're already working with the lawyer they're already um got it taken care of um so that's the thing about surplus surplus is more competitive and state funds is really not that competitive at all um and so like that just makes it easier for me and i love that you know i was in there killing it with state funds and so that's why you know i i, I recommend state funds and that's why um I think it's just easier to make money in so yeah so if you guys so now you know you got the the gif so what's gonna happen now so I mean first things first if you got some value on this video guys please show me some love if you guys just like it subscribe to the channel leave a comment what you think good you can write a good uh, review a good comment bad comment but if you guys are more interested in getting into state funds because that's what I specialize in and that's my favorite I do actually have um, a mini course where I go ahead and teach that to you. And um, so if you just go to my Instagram, it's dance biz one-on-one uh, -on -one, and I'll, I'll put it in this video and I'll put it in the description below. If you just go over to, to that um, uh, business or to that uh, Instagram page, you just go to the link and you can find it right over there. You can also try to send me a DM if you have any questions. If you have any questions, send me a DM too. Um, and I'm super busy guys, so I try to check my DMs as much as possible. But you know, just uh, be, be, be a little patient with me. And if you guys have any questions, guys, you can always, you know, try to reach out to me. I try to respond to any most people as fast as I can. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know, guys.
All right, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, guys, show me some love, man. Please, you know, give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe. All right, guys, so peace.